Welcome back everyone, Maverick here, and today we are going through all of the Mortal Kombat Gold endings and we are going to rank the top 10. Now if they don't make the top 10, they're not going to make the rankings. But nonetheless, these endings are what made Mortal Kombat Gold one of the all-time great Mortal Kombat games. And Mortal Kombat Gold, you know, you can say a lot of bad things about it. Um, I disagree with most of those bad things, just because I think it's a great game generally. But one thing you will never hear somebody say sucks is the endings of Mortal Kombat Gold. Everyone loved the endings. It was the saving grace, even for those people who hated this game. And there's very few of those people I'd like to think. Alright, let's just jump on in. Okay, wait for the music. There it is. Alright, we'll be snaking our way through the character select, as usual with these uh, top 10 videos that I do. So we'll be starting with Cyrax. Now there's 20 characters on the character select screen. Plus at the very end we'll do the hidden character, Sector. Well, let's go ahead and kick it off with Cyrax. Okay, I just beat the game with Cyrax. With easy endings on, so I didn't really beat the game. Now let's see what his cutscene ending is. I haven't seen many of these in years, so this should be good. Okay, so we got Jax, we got Sonya, we got Cyrax, and they're in All the right, lab, Cyrax. and oh my All god, look at the go. dump truck on Sonya. They did her really good in this game, I'll say that. Good. After experiencing the flashbacks in my fight against Shinnok, I realize that my existence is unnecessary unless I can fully recover my human psyche. Alright, so Cyrax is going in for the human right, psyche. That's what they're trying to process. do. They're trying to restore his psyche. The regeneration switch on my queue. Jax, Sonya, doing the regeneration. Look at Jax. that. Ready Absolute on dump truck on Sonya. I, I think, you know, Cyrax is coming back to his human psyche form because he's been hanging around Sonya a little too much and he's thinking, damn. Going robot was the wrong move. I guess not robot, cyborg. Alright. So, they do successfully retransfer, or I'm really not sure what the word for it is, reconstitute Cyrax's human psyche. You get to see his face here, a little face reveal. Looks like he's got a scouter. I feel life once again, and I remember everything. Okay, so he's human again. Thank you so much. Got his memories I back. I am forever in your debt. I will not return to my Lin Kuei roots as an assassin. I instead choose to fight at your side. And he's gonna for fight Earth. for the Earthrealm warriors. Well, that's good news. Jax, well, Let's that's you good news. Feel like he's longer. just like whatever, man. We didn't need you, but sure, we'll take you. Now, is that a top ten Mortal Kombat gold ending? You know, for me, it's not. As much as I think it's a great ending and Cyrax is regaining or reconstituting or whatever he's doing, getting his human memories and his human psyche back, it's a happy story, and many of these aren't. So I will give it bonus points for being a happy story. And it does have cameos of Jax and Sonya. It really goes deep into, like, the lore of Cyrax. Something they... It's creative. They didn't have to do it. But it's what every fan wanted, especially if you're a fan of Cyrax. Um, it just gives you that little, like, satiates your curiosity that you have about all of these characters. Now, that said, it's creative, it satiates the curiosity, shows that he was a Lin Kuei assassin, got transferred to a cyborg, comes back. You get deep lore, but it doesn't make the top 10. And that's not to say it's bad, maybe it's an 11 or 12 or a 13. It's just that there are so many, so many good um, endings in Mortal Kombat Gold that it, ju it just doesn't crack the top 10. Alright, who's next? Oh, up next, it's Melina. Take a wild guess if she makes the top 10. If you've seen any of my videos, you know the answer to that. Let's jump in. Melina. Here we go. Katana looking out her throne room window. Katana. And Melina's fine ass I walks up on her. Status. I want to be Princess of Edenia. Mm hmm. So do I. It is my right. You have no right. You are not my sister. Oh, it's a you were sister born feud. You Shang Tsung sorcery for Shao Kahn. What right do you have to the throne of Edenia? No. No! Look <laughs> at Katana standing in front of her. Like, no place Get the hell out of here. I'm princess. 
Oh, but Molina's got you something to say about Tana. that. But if I have no right to this realm, then neither will you! Boom! Man, rock to the throne. You will die, sister. And I will take this realm for myself! Oh, two sides to the chest and knocks her out the window. That's it, Melina's princess now. A queen, if there's no one above her. Now, that is what every Melina fan wants. That's what every Mortal Kombat Gold fan wants. They want Melina to succeed, unless you're just a diehard Katana fan. But this is a cool lore, <clears throat> cool ending, because, you know, what is Melina supposed to do with her life? Well, here you go. She's jealous. She wants Katana's status. She wants to be princess. She basically wants everything that Katana has. And in this ending, she gets it. It's a very happy ending for Melina. Um, a very unhappy ending for Katana. Sorry to say, Katana fans. But um, Melina comes out on top of her ending. And does this make the top 10? Kind of already spoiled it. Yes, it does. Uh, bouncing into the number one spot is Melina taking over Katana's hmm, status taking the throne and for now it's at the number one spot um, with all of these top 10 videos we fill in from the top so somebody could displace Molina um, so she could move down to two three four five six seven eight nine ten depending on how things go so she's only in the number one spot for now um, and let's see who's up next so let's see if we can knock her out from the number one spot up next is Katana just after she lost her throne status. Let's see how her ending goes for her. Okay, here we go with Katana. It's the same scene. Katana. With a little bit of a different I want outcome. Your status. I want to be Princess of Edenia. It is my right. You have no right. You are So we've got the sister feud going on. Parallel you were to the born last of one Shang so far. Sorcery for Shao Kahn. What right do you have to the throne, Videnia? No. No. We got Katana dominating Melina standing and over her. No place in this world. Man, she's fierce. You gotta give it to Katana. Right, she's standing Katana. up to Melina, who's a bit of a monster. But if I have no right to this realm, then neither will you! Oh, it's Katana's ending, but Melina got the uppercut in there. There's no doubt. Okay, she's reaching for the size. You gotta do something, Katana. You gotta, you gotta be quick. Oh, 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 <laughs> what? Katana with the trap door. Okay. Oh, this reminds me of Game of Thrones. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, so Katana really, you know, takes an uppercut, but ultimately says, you know what, that's some horse shit. Uh, hits the trapdoor button, and the Mortal Kombat logo on the floor uh, opens up, revealing a lengthy tunnel. I'm not even sure where that tunnel goes. I is it like Game of Thrones, where they fall out of the sky um, and go skydiving to their death? Or is it just like a, a pit? Uh, excuse me, is it like a pit with a bunch of uh, spikes at the bottom that Molina's going to land on? Unfortunately, we don't get to see that, which would have been nice now that I think about it. But still, a great ending, especially with the trapdoor. I, I mean, first time you see this, you never expect a trapdoor. So, does it make the top 10? Absolutely, it makes the top 10. Bouncing in to the number 2 spot. Now, it doesn't beat out Molina. Um, it's in the number 2. Katana's in the number 2 spot for now. Really, for no other reason than my bias for Molina, because both of these endings are fantastic. Both of them give two great female characters the appropriate ending that they deserve. It s resolves in each respective character's favor in this sisterly feud. Um, Katana doesn't really consider Melina her sister, but Melina considers them equals. I love the insight into their relationship here. I just can't get enough of either of these endings, so uh, top marks on both, but... Melina number one, Katana number two for now. Let's see who's next. Wait for that music. Kung Lao is next, and 
I'm not a huge fan of Kung Lao. I always preferred Liu Kang, but let's see what he's got. Here we go. Why is Goros? And Katana! Here to offer the show can a treaty for Goro and Katana. The centaurs have already signed Fuck is Kung Lao. terms. We now await your acceptance. War has been waged in this realm for too long. We must bring it to an end. I will set aside my differences with the centaurs. As long as they abide by the treaty. Check out those flags with the Shokan, I like that. Your agreement. Goro, this is a great victory for all of us. Katana being an ambassador. Oh shit. Goro down everyone. Kung Lao coming in with his hat. Kung Lao, we are in a moment of peace. How could you attack now? Yeah, for real, that's a dick move, Kung Lao. That's about I what I expected. That an allegiance with an enemy was a lost cause, Princess Kitana. Was that your attempt at an assassination, Earthman? <laughs> Earthman? About to beat that ass. That's a heck no, of a slash. That was a ceremonial strike of revenge for my ancestor that you killed in Mortal Kombat so many years ago. Hmm. Okay. And do you wish to continue? This battle? No. <laughs> of course he doesn't. Who would want to continue this battle? Your ancestor was a great man and a brave and noble warrior. Katana pacing back there like shit. Is this about to spiral? Perhaps it would be my own son seeking to settle differences with him. Goro shakes with his bottom hand. Maybe it's because Kung Lao is so much shorter. Now, I absolutely love this ending. Partially because I'm not a huge fan of Kung Lao. And this isn't Kung Lao's ending. I mean, yeah, he's a character in it. But, come on, let's be real. This is Goro's ending. This is a Goro storyline. When you play as Goro, he doesn't have his own ending, which is a bummer. But, the saving grace is that Goro has his own ending. Because he takes over Kung Lao's ending. Now, another, and just to further my point, Goro is painted as the um, patient, understanding uh, warrior with integrity, and Kung Lao is painted a little bit as this dirty bastard who's coming in for a quote ceremonial strike of revenge right after they, Katana and Goro, agree to a peace treaty. Kung Lao is not in the right, in the moral right here. Uh, Goro, who's a villain, or portrayed as a villain in Mortal Kombat, is on the Mortal High Ground. And I love that he calls him Earth Man. You know, it's like, I could beat your ass, but I'm just gonna, you know, use my words to demean you. And then he kind of stands in Kung Lao's face and says, Do you want to continue this? Because I think we both know where this goes. We both know how this ends, if you want to continue this. Goro has the utmost confidence. It's not arrogance. Uh, he knows he could beat that ass, and he basically says it. I killed your ancestor and I'm prepared to kill you too now what I love about this is it, it shows that in the realm of Mortal Kombat you do have um, political gamesmanship amongst warriors Goro isn't some brute isn't some beast like he's portrayed in Mortal Kombat 1 where he's like in a lair and they let him loose to beat that ass no he's he's a prince of the Shokans and he's showing it here um, so you get depth in all these characters, you get insight into the world of Mortal Kombat, and it's all through basically a lens that shows Goro as a hero in some regard. So do I like this ending? I, I love this ending. So bouncing into the number one spot is Kung Lao's, and I'll put that in quotes, quote, Kung Lao's ending, end quote, because it's really Goro's ending. and. It displaces Melina to the number two spot, Katana to the number three spot. It, this ending is just too good. It, it is just has so many angles into the world of Mortal Kombat that when you see this for the first time, you're left with many questions. When you see it for the second time, you're left with more questions. And regardless of which time you're seeing it, you're entertained. So it's at the number one spot. I, I just love it. Cue the music. Who's next? It's Baraka. Or 
in some fortress. Quan Chi's fortress. So you finally move out of Shinnok's place? Kinda looks... Oh, this is the same throne room as Katana and Melina's cutscene, so I guess he's ruling Adenia now. I have dealt with those once loyal to Shinnok. This victory is ours. You bask in your newfound power on the throne of Queen Sindel, while I am forced to hide in the shadows. Baraka is unhappy with Quan Chi's hiding from. The Elder Gods are dead. Raiden is dead. And thanks to you, Shinnok is dead. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Rocco. Everyone in this forsaken realm. Rocco is saying this dead. math ain't math, and everyone's I dead, homie. Who are you ruling? No one in it. This war was not about holding court to mortals. It was about obtaining power. I now possess that power. Okay. I am forced to live out my this is Baraka's ending, so something's about to go down. Oh shit. Ooh, right through the chest. Quan Chi with the ruse. She, this is Baraka's ending, but it ain't going well. So we're stuck. We just saw our first case of a bad ending for the character. Now, Baraka, he's a Tarkata and he's fierce. And let's be honest, he had us fooled. The first time you see this, you think, wow, he just gutted Quan Chi on the throne. He's going to take the throne just like Katana did, just like Molina did, just like Kung Lao and Goro. Uh, who else? Cyrax. They all had happy endings. Everyone resolves their problems in their favor, um, even if it's at the expense of another character. But Baraka here uh, dies in his own ending, and that's just to sh goes to show you that Mortal Kombat is ruthless. Um, you know, just because you won the game, you beat Shinnok, doesn't mean your ending is going to go well for you. So if this is this is a sign of things to come, we're going to see several endings uh, in this Mortal Kombat endings video. Things don't go as you plan. Now, maybe it's not a surprise that Baraka got killed. Because in Mortal Kombat Gold, at this point in Mortal Kombat history, Baraka is still kind of a second or third tier character. He's not what I would call a main character. But nonetheless, bouncing into the number four spot, he made the list, coming in behind Katana. Now, why does this make the list? I just said he's a second or third tier character who dies in his own ending. Well, I do like that he dies in his own ending. That's a twist. And I do like that Quan Chi is showing off a little bit of his skill as well, because let's be honest, Quan Chi should be the real boss of this game. Now, he's got Deception, which maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing, because after this game, there is, in the future, uh, a game called Mortal Kombat Deception, which, which involves Quan Chi. And, and then he turns around and just blasts Baraka like it's nothing. I don't know. I just like this one. Coming in at the number four spot. Who's next? Sub Zero. Sub Zero. All right. Let's the see. The battle is finished. Let's Your see what Sub Zero's got. Your quest is over, Scorpion. You cannot kill a dead man. You have defeated He's my. He's beefing with Scorpion. Lord, What's my new? Soul is eternal. You will pay for the massacre of my clan and family. Oh shoot! What? That's new. Quan Chi bust him into another person's ending and just rocking their shit. Not the Lin Kuei and not you. What's going on? Oh, Quan Chi. Agreed to fight for us in exchange for freedom from the Nether Realm. A deal I had no intention of fulfilling. By killing him, you saved us the trouble. Both you and Scorpion were pawns for Shinnok. Scorpion. Scorpion didn't like that betrayal talk. He said, get that shit out of here. Wow. Scorpion ain't fucking around. That was big time. Our battle is finished. You are now freed from my curse. Live well, Lin Kuei warrior. Okay, so, I mean, that is an ending with a lot to process, because Sub-Zero and Scorpion are beefing. What's new? I mean, what do they say? You can count on like what two things are guaranteed in life taxes and death add a third to that scorpion and sub-zero beefing 
in whatever nether realm place they were at but what is new is Quan Chi busts in trying to act like a badass and let me just say he comes in out of nowhere um he, he like cheap shot Sub-Zero in the back I mean watch this watch this watch this I'm gonna put in like a uh, a little montage of Quan this is how ridiculous it is I'm gonna put a montage in that shows how ridiculous it is Quan Chi is coming in doing a cheap shot on Sub-Zero just how ridiculous and laughable it is here we go Family. BAM Wham! Family. Whack! Family. Smack! Family. Crack! Family. Slap! Family. Whap! Now, <laughs> Quan Chi gets his ass beat by Scorpion. Well, gets his ass exploded by Scorpion. And it is a happy ending for both Scorpion and Sub Zero. You gotta like that. But bouncing in to the number two spot. Yes, I said number two. It's coming in behind Kung Lao slash Goro's ending. And above Molina, and why is this coming in so high? You, this might be a head scratcher for some of y'all. Let me tell you, it's because of that cheap shot Quan Chi shit. I mean, that just gets me on the floor laughing. Like, what? You're a sorcerer? You gonna come in against Sub Zero and just whack him on the back? Come on now. That was comedic relief uh, at its highest level in Mortal Kombat. And for that reason, I'll give it the number two spot. All right, who's next? Johnny Cage. I'll tell you what, guys. I I don't like Johnny Cage. Let's just see what his ending has in store for us. Johnny Cage. All right, Johnny Cage, coming in and showboating as the Mortal Kombat champion. I don't know what to say. Then don't say I anything. Start by thanking all my fans out there. Well, that's enough of the mushy stuff. I mean, let's get real here, huh? When am I gonna get some real competition? Come on, don't get silent now. We're all the cheer. <laughs> While I agree with the crowd that he sucks, why did they go from cheering to not cheering? I'm gonna remember this. Okay, I, I get the fruit, but that wine bottle or whatever. The pineapple, I think I saw in there. Another wine bottle? <laughs> Damn. This crowd came packing. Who throws a pineapple? Now, I. <laughs> This is exactly what you expect from Johnny Cage, a Hollywood showboater, going out, being a douche, uh, tooting his own horn. I don't like anything about this ending. It's good for Johnny Cage, I guess. He's a hated public figure. You know, what do they say? Um, any... What, what is that? Any news is good news? No. Any press is good press? You get what I'm saying. Now, what is cool about this ending is they throw a pineapple. Um, uh, somebody had to program that in there. That's pretty funny. You know, you're sitting around in the development team like, what are we going to throw? How about a glass bottle and a pineapple? And everyone in there had to say, yeah, that sounds good. You got to give them credit for that. But does Johnny Cage make the top ten? Uh, absolutely not. In fact, hell no. Hell no. Does He does not make the top ten. This isn't... I've never met somebody who likes this in Case closed. Oh, we got our hero. We've got our hero of Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang. Let's jump in. War is over. I've once again defended my title as champion of Mortal Kombat and defended the realm of Earth. But I have failed to. This save looks like the, the temple for Mortal Kombat mythology. In doing so, I have also lost Katana forever. Oh, he lost Katana, he says. But here she comes, out of a portal. Katana? Yes, Liu Kang. It is I. But I thought you were gonna look With Shinnok's destruction, you have not only saved the Earth, but you've also saved my own realm. Okay. For that, I can never repay you. Knowing that you survived is all that I need. As heir to the <laughs> throne of my realm, I offer you the chance to rule at my side. As King of Edenia, forever. Th that's a big offer. I cannot accept your offer. I belong here on Earth as He's turning it down. Combat. Then, I wish you good luck, Liu Kang. On all your journeys. And she backs out slowly. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Goodbye, Princess Katana. Okay, this one. This one, you may say, do not put this in the top ten. <laughs> okay, but guess what? It's coming in the top ten. Well, before I show the position, just let me tell you why. Let me plead my case. You got Liu Kang, the hero boy of Mortal Kombat, on his knees in the temple saying, Oh damn! I lost Katana, the love of my life. 
And then the love of his life shows up, and he pretty plainly says, Oh, Katana, you're still alive. And she says, Hey, I can never repay you. Again, she's pretty flat toned too. Not a lot of emotion going on here. She says, Would you like to be king with me? Liu Kang straight up says, No, thank you. And so basically, he just got called out on his bluff that Katana was the love of his life and he's so sad that he lost her. But likewise, Katana's no angel herself. She was doing this out of an obligation, it seems, because right after he says no, she backs out slowly and says goodbye. So this is two people. Imagine a boyfriend and a girlfriend breaking up. Neither one wants to hurt the other's feelings. They're all saying the right things and they're all politely declining and backing out of the room slowly. This is what that is. Now that is a hard comedy to touch on in Mortal Kombat. You got teenage angst in a Liu Kang ending with Katana and they nailed it perfectly. This is art. This is comedic art at its finest. You won't find anything quite like this in a video game ever again and for that reason it's bouncing in to the number six spot. Yeah, you know, it's not the top five. It doesn't need to be the top five. But as far as endings go for the hero of Mortal Kombat, this couldn't have been any funnier. It's Liu Kang basically starting off saying he's in love with Katana, but he doesn't really mean it because then he backs out. And Katana saying she's in love with Liu Kang, but backing out too. I, I think this is really funny for an ending. Uh, if nothing else, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So number six. Jax is up next. Jax. Going somewhere, Jarek? Wow, this one starts off hot. You were going to. Thought I was what? Dead? Like my partner you just tossed off the cliff? I'm I'm sorry, Jax. Please, don't drop me. Wait, I, I promise. Too late, Jarek. You can't drop me. You have to uphold the law. <laughs> you have to arrest me. Wait, wait. This is brutality. Drop him, Jax. Wrong, Jarek. No one likes Jarek. This is not a brutality. This is a fatality. Now, this ending uh, is a little bit of out of context because it occurs after Jarek's ending, which we'll get to. Basically, Jarek just threw Sonya off a cliff. And Jax is coming in pissed. And so he drops Jarek off a cliff. Now, obviously, the coup de gras... Is that the right word? The coup de grace? Coup de gras? I think I'm saying the same phrase in a different accent. Anyways, the best line in this is, he says, <laughs> This is not police brutality. This is a fatality. Um, I love the cheese that they're just pouring on so hard in this ending. But it's a short one. Uh, by itself, if, if you just beat the game with Jax and that's all you've done, he says he just threw my partner off a cliff or whatever. I mean, he didn't get to see it. And why didn't they just include that? So you're missing part of this ending. Now for that, it's a really like a half an ending. I do have to give them credit for the cheesy lines. Not a brutality, but a fatality. And I do have to give them credit for killing Jarek, who is literally a throwaway character. A throw off a cliff character in this case. And I'm laying on the cheesy lines too. But does this make the top 10? It doesn't. Um, for no other reason really that there's a variant of this ending. There's three variants of this ending. Jack, Sonya, Jerry. And I like Sonya's better. So let's just jump into the next one. Which is Sonya. Sonya. It's over, oh, Jared. we got Sonya in the red dead. alternate outfit. Yes, won. please. You're coming back with me. Never, Sonya. And she's I agreed to trying to arrest Jerry. Not turn myself into the special forces. The Black Dragon. Well, she's on. backed up. Backed the up Black against Dragon the cliff. Look how good she Tina. looks in You're red. My one, God, she's fucked. Now Sonya didn't even throw him Come off. Come in, Major Briggs. This is Lieutenant Sonya. He jumped Sonya and Blade. missed. Over. He went for the spear on a cliff. To hear you're alive. You actually sound happy her to hear from gear. me, Jax. Things Pony get tail, boring. Please. Not since you followed Liu Kang into the nether realm. Mm. Well, it's over now. I'm returning to base. 10-4, Jax. And she 10 force herself. Now, we all know it doesn't make sense to 10 for yourself. 10 for is in response, like you're confirming someone's previous message. We'll overlook that. 
and just say that Sonya, uh, this isn't what I would call a blow you away ending, but she's looking good. She's a boss character, uh, like in the sense that she's a boss, not that she's an actual boss character. And she comes out on top in her own ending. And this is kind of the cherry on top for Sonya Blade's Rise to Greatness. Let me let me just throw this in here. She's making the top ten. Now, before I reveal the spot, let me just explain that this ranking isn't based on the ending solely. It's based off of years and years and years of Sonya Blade being a dog shit character. Bullshit outfit, bullshit moves, dog shit fatalities. No one plays as her. Throwaway character. But she's got the lore. They keep trying to make her a main character. Well, they finally did it. They finally did it in Mortal Kombat 4 and Mortal Kombat Gold. They redid her outfit. She looks fine. She's banging. She's got an ending where she comes out on top. Her moves are legit. Her weapon's a little bit of a dog shit weapon, but we can overlook that. And so for that reason, Sonya Blade is bouncing in to the number four spot, splitting the sisters, coming in between Melina and Katana, putting her at the number four spot. Now, this is obviously a huge bias of mine. Um, put Sonya this high. I, I imagine on most top ten, she's going to fall in like the nine or ten. Surely she would be on the top ten of most of y'all's top tens, right? Either way, that's where I've got her just because I simply love her rise to greatness that occurred in Mortal Kombat 4 slash gold. And let's be honest, she did us all a favor by, well, did she really kill Jarek? Jarek dies in her ending, that's all you can ask for. Snaking our way down, we're making it to Raiko. Here's a Raiko, or Raiko as they say. Walking into a portal cool walking into a portal. You're not that cool, Raiko. Stop that. He didn't stop. Okay. Whatever. This dude is the Johnny Cage of Outworld. Hey, walking up to a throne. Zoom in. Oh, he puts the con helmet on. Okay, now... Now, this ending is laughable in every way. He's got the cool walk, Johnny Cage of Outworld go vibe going for him, and he's just an absolute idiot. I hate Raiko as a character. I hate Raiko because I can't say his name right. It's technically Raiko. Uh, what else? I hate him because he's not a good character to play with. His ending is mysterious, but let me tell you what the most hilarious thing about this ending is. He sits down on the throne to become the next Khan. Obviously Shao Kahn's dead. World Combat Trilogy, we killed Shao Kahn a quote for good. Now we just beat Shinnok, and now this dude Reiko is coming into the Outworld or whatever, and taking on the title as Khan. Well, why that's hilarious is because Reiko actually isn't a great warrior. They say he's a general of Shao Kahn's armies, but the second, the very second he puts on that Khan helmet, he's gonna get his ass beat. I don't care who it is, maybe it's Quan Chi, maybe it's Baraka, maybe it's Kung Lao, maybe Goro comes in and just splits his ass open. He's going to be Khan for a solid five minutes before he gets his ass beat. So for that reason, not only does Reiko not make the top ten, but he is unequivocally the worst Mortal Kombat Gold ending in the game. I said it. I like nothing about this other than to make fun of this character. And uh, how many characters are there? I think there's 21 endings. This dude's number 21. Next. Okay, after my scathing review of Reiko, we go on to another character who I really do hate. Jarek. Alright, it's Sonya and Jarek. It's over, Jarek. Shinnok is dead. The good guys won. You're coming back with me. Never, Sonya. I agreed to help defeat. Backing her up against the cliff. I do not like where this is going for Sonya. The Black Dragon live on. The Black Dragon died with Kano. You're yes, the it last did. one. I have to Jared. agree with her there. Never. Dude is an idiot. And throws himself off the cliff. Come in, Major Briggs. This is Lieutenant Sonya Blade. What? Damn, he threw my girl off the cliff. This is Major Briggs. Come in, Sonya. This is Jax. Are you there? 
Can't say I like that. Can't say I like that. Now listen to this laugh. If you don't recognize it, that is the laugh when you type in the cheat code at the first of the Wii U screen. Now, aside from that Easter egg that you finally figure out what that laughing sound is, if you want to call it a laugh, like a mumble laugh, whatever the hell that is, I feel like, you know, there's mumble rap. Now that's a mumble laugh. Now, this isn't making the top 10 because Jarek is one of the worst characters and not just Mortal Kombat Gold, but all of Mortal Kombat history. He's up there with Bo Raicho and Su Hao and I don't know, those asshats. So he's not making the top 10, but he also threw off one of my favorite characters, Sonya Blade. It's kind of neat that he grabs her ankle while he's holding on for dear life and tosses her. I just don't find that realistic. You know, Sonya Blade is a much more badass character. She's going to stomp the shit out of his hand uh, and, you know, throw him off the cliff herself. It's just a totally unrealistic ending. Doesn't make the top ten for so many reasons. Take your pick. Up next is Raiden. Alright, Raiden. What are you doing? Flying in the sky. This is gonna be awful, I can just tell. What the hell is this? Giant face in the sky. This is ridiculous. Now, obviously, I'm not a huge fan of this ending because, you know, Raiden ascends to the Elder God, Pantheon, chooses his successor, but his successor is Fujin, the Wind God, or whatever you want to call him, the Wind Dude, I'm not sure he's a god yet, <clears throat> but the thing about Fujin is we didn't even know his name, he didn't even get an introduction in his first canon uh, appearance in Sub-Zero Mortal Kombat Mythologies, he was just a boss. So you had to beat to get to the next level. And now he's some kind of successor of Raiden. Like, come on, this doesn't make sense. The Elder Gods are nebulous. I mean, they seem to be powerful, but you can also beat their ass if you're Shinnok. I, I just don't get it. I don't like this ending. Good for Raiden. Good for him. But, I don't know. Not cracking the top 10. In fact, this might be in the 15 to 20 range. Not a fan. Okay. Uh, we, we've had three pretty shitty ones in a row. Reiko, Jarek, Raiden. Pretty lackluster. Let's see if Tanya can uh, be the combo breaker here. Follow me, Liu Kang. Oh, Raiden has asked that I lead you to him. She's got Liu Kang other? on her tail. He has something special planned for them. Tanya's sexy. You gotta give it to her. Yellow is not really a flattering color for an outfit. Tanya, she pulls it what's off. going on? <laughs> I don't know what Katana saw in you. Can't you see, Liu Kang? This is a trap. <laughs> I love that sarcastic Welcome evil. Shaolin warrior, your elder god is beaten. Earth's warriors. What destroyed. is going on? You are the last remnants of the forces of life. Shit, not quite. She and Tanya about to beat that ass, Liu Kang. Lord Shinnok, never sorcerer! <laughs> Damn, flying kick into a blast. <laughs> that end? That's the end. Okay, okay, you know, this is Tanya's first appearance in a Mortal Kombat game. Uh, she's sexy, her moveset's pretty good. Uh, her fatalities, I don't, I don't really remember her fatalities, which means they're uh, not memorable. But, this is a cool ending, because I don't know anything about Tanya's character, I don't really know her lore, I don't know if she's good or evil, so going into this ending, you, I really had no idea what was going to happen. Turns out she's evil, but she's not just like, bland evil, like sometimes Melina is just like, pure evil, you know what she's going to do. Tanya has a little bit of an attitude, she was sarcastic and evil. Uh, she says, I don't I don't know what Katana saw in you, Liu Kang. This is a trap, like, you idiot. <laughs> like, of course this is a trap. 
Apparently Liu Kang doesn't know much about Tanya either because he was following her. She somehow gained his trust. Uh, but this is a cool ending, not just because it shows off Tanya. She's got guile. She's got, you know, the looks. She's got the sarcasm, the attitude. But Tanya also lured in the hero of Mortal Kombat. Not just anyone. She didn't lure in Sonya or Johnny Cage or Jax. She lured in Liu Kang, the number one main character, and got Liu Kang killed in her ending. Hats off to Tanya, that's a heck of an ending. Now for that reason, she makes she makes the top 10. Bouncing in to the number 5 spot, right behind Sonya Blade, is Tanya. Beating out Katana, Baraka, Liu Kang, uh, which is appropriate I guess. Really, hats off to her as a new character. I think they did a good job, I think they did a good job with her, and I think they did a good job with her ending. What a twist, killing off Liu Kang in Tanya's ending. I just love, that, that, that's got some shock factor, and for that reason, that... She's number five. So Tanya proved to be the combo breaker. And up next we've got Scorpion. Scorpion. Okay, it's Scorpion and let my me guess. Yep, sub zero. I have avenged the death and they're of my beefing with one another again. Now my soul can finally rest. Some things never change. Your soul will never rest, Scorpion. The Lin Kuei may have been responsible for your murder, but your family's true killer still remains free. Let me guess, if Quan Chi? The murderer, then who is? I am the one you seek. To defeat my nemesis Sub-Zero, I needed the power of a Spectre. You've done my bidding well, Scorpion, but now I must return you to the Nether. Oh, Scorpion ain't gonna have that. Now, Scorpion takes Quan Chi to the Nether Realm, but can't Quan Chi get out of the Nether Realm? Isn't he in the Nether Realm in Sub Zero Mortal Kombat mythologies, or am I missing something? Maybe that's Outworld they're in? I don't know. It's a typical Sub Zero Scorpion. Battling it out, beefing it out, with with Quan Chi coming in, very curt, like you know, just cursory saying like, "Yeah, I used you, and I really did kill your family." The end. Huh? I don't know. I don't like it. Doesn't do it for me. You know, Sub Zero's was so much better with that uh, cheap shot, whack in the back thing going on. I like that one better. So for that reason, this does not make the top ten, which is a shame because Scorpion deserves a top ten ending. They should have done him better than that. Okay, so after how many cameos? I don't know, we've lost count. We finally get the man himself, Quan Chi. Quan Chi. As payment for your loyal oh, it's Quan Chi and Shinnok facing I off. You the gift of your existence. My existence? Understand, sorcerer. I consume all energies, including the life forces of all that live. But I shall spare you. Oh, uh, Quan Chi ain't gonna you have that. Be a tortured soul, rotting in the pits of the Nether Realm. You dare question me? I do more than <laughs> question you, Shinnok. I challenge you. Quan Chi is gonna punk Shinnok. What? Oh, Your hear that music pick up? Against me. How can this be? I am in possession of your one secret amulet. Years ago, I now that raises some questions. Duplicate, while I retained the original, I even fooled Raiden. Now I am ruler supreme. And you, Elder God, are finished! Quan Chi, getting the better of Shinnok. Now, this is a completely serviceable ending. Um... But it does raise some questions. For example, how did Quan Chi get the amulet? And if he had the amulet, why in Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies, which we played through in painstaking detail, we even did the ending where we took the amulet off of Shinnok's neck and killed his Netherrealm beast form. Which... Which we thought was the power of the amulet. But if it was the fake amulet all along, I mean, what I'm gathering here is that the continuity between Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies and Mortal Kombat Gold isn't contiguous. 
So Quan Chi, whatever, somehow ends up with this amulet. Shinnok, I guess, couldn't tell that his amulet was fake. I mean, wouldn't he know if he had more power or not? I don't know. Whatever, it's Quan Chi's ending, so it's his show, and he does kill Shinnok. Like I said, a serviceable ending, perfectly average, and for that reason, it's bouncing in to the number 9 spot, bringing up the rear, just like a perfectly average ending should. Alright, who's up next? Fujin. Fujin. Our forces of light have defeated Shinnok. Now, I must return to my duties as Earth's god of Okay, Fujin's just talking to a nameless you face. Well. Is this an elder god? But we have a new mission for you. Raiden? Our battle with Shinnok's forces is over. I must move on to my new position as an elder god. And you, okay, Fujin, humble brag. You must take my former position as protector of Earth. Raiden, it will be my honor. What a bow. Wow, almost got into Raiden's crotch there. They are a great people, but have the ability to self-destruct. Be patient, and offer your wisdom and guidance. Farewell, Thunder God. I will not fail you. That is why I picked you. <laughs> Alright. Two godlike characters, uh, stroking each other's egos after talking to the nameless face, and giving each other promotions. This is just a circle jerk of uh, godly proportions, and I almost fell asleep during it. In fact, speaking of circle jerks, did you see Fujin's bow? He like bowed into Raiden's crotch. Um, I don't know. Uh, for those of you who stayed awake through that ending, uh, you probably didn't enjoy it. The other half of us fell asleep, so not making the top ten, no surprise here. Alright, up next is... The shittiest boss in Mortal Kombat history, Shinnok. Shinnok. For millions of years, okay, I Shinnok. Oh, Shinnok's got Raiden on, you on the fence here. Responsible for my suffering. Now the piteous mortals of Earth will pay for my Got him on the ropes. You turned against your fellow Elder Gods. You betrayed your title. You deserve much worse. But it's too late, Raiden. I win. Do it, Shinnok. Do it. <laughs> so Shinnok finally doing something impressive for a change. Uh, blowing up Thunder God Raiden. And the, you know, it's pretty um, predictable, this ending. Everyone saw it coming, Shinnok killing Raiden. The only interesting easter egg about this ending is that they are on the bridge that you fight Shinnok in in Sub-Zero Mortal Kombat Mythologies. And that's about the only notable thing about this ending. No surprise here, it doesn't make the top 10 ending. There's just nothing cool about it. Nothing, no plot twists or comic relief or artistic ending here. It's just exactly what you expected. Alright, up next, our boy Reptile, who they absolutely butchered. Look at that, he's not a ninja anymore. Whatever. I do like Reptile's voice, I'll give him that. Destruction of Earth's warriors. Yes, Very I'm reptilian. most appreciative of your efforts. Now I wish to Look return at those in time teeth. to my home world before it was destroyed at the hands of Shao Kahn. As the new ruler supreme of all reality, Shinnok alone has the power to grant me this wish. You dare make such an impetuous request from your lord and master? It is a simple request for one of such great power. It is also not worth his attention. I demand it if it were not for warriors such as myself. Oh, Reptile it making demands. I don't see this ending well for the Reptile. Perhaps you can convey your feelings to Shinnok himself. What? Infidel! You Infidel, are in no okay. To anything. I could kill you with a mere thought. Could you, Shinnok? You're not that badass. A deal? I am not a god of my word, reptile. All deals are off. 
Alright, explodes his head. Kind of a neat fatality. But here's the thing. Reptile's ending exposes what we already knew, that Shinnok is just a lion. I don't know if I'd call him cheating. But a lying, uh, doesn't, <laughs> basically says it himself. He's not a god who honors his word, so he's just a bitch. No one likes Shinnok. Not Reptile, not Quan Chi, uh, not me. Does anyone like Shinnok? I'm gonna wait like three seconds. I'm not hearing anyone, so no, no one likes Shinnok. I mean, he's the worst Mortal Kombat boss ever to this day, but especially when this game came out. And his ending sucks. Um, this is Reptile's ending, I guess. Uh, he did Reptile dirty, which I don't, I don't mind that. Reptile has lost his ninja outfit, so Reptile's kind of dead to me, anyways. Uh, so I'll give Shinnok a pass there. But yeah, this this ending is more about ratting out Shinnok as a little bitch more than it is anything else. So I don't know, doesn't make the top ten for me. Up next, Kai. I almost forgot his name. I mean, this is the definition of a forgettable character. Oh, it's well, Kai and Raiden. What a duo. You are duo. now a true Shaolin warrior. Thanks, Raiden, but I'm not interested in becoming a Shaolin warrior anymore. I've got too many of my own problems to deal with. What will you do next? I don't know. Wander the earth? Search for my soul? That kind of thing. Well, perhaps you could use this on your journey. Your lightning staff? It holds the power of thunder and lightning. Wield it wisely, for it can show you the way to immortality. You've earned it. Thank you, Raiden. I will not fail. Alright. Now, this ending just throws me for a loop. Kai says he can't be a warrior because he's got too many of his own problems, and then promptly says, I'm gonna go wander the earth. Okay. You got so many problems that you're just gonna go wander around? Sounds to me that you either have zero problems, or you're gonna avoid all your problems. But then, to make things even weirder, Raiden gives him his lightning staff and says to use it responsibly while you're wandering around. And Kai responds, I will not fail you, as if it's some big ass mission. Bro, he just said to use it responsibly. You're not even doing anything. I don't know why Raiden gave you his lightning staff if you're just gonna go do nothing, literally nothing. Um. I don't know if Kai ever returned as a character in any Mortal Kombat following this. Uh, I really hope he didn't. I can't remember if he did because he's completely forgettable. But if he didn't, I'd like to think he's just wandering his ass around the earth, doing nothing. And no, this absolutely does not make the top 10. Now, that was the last character on the character select and we're left with 9 of the top 10. So, who's the last one? Well, it's the only hidden character with an ending at Sector, and obviously, uh, by deduction, he's going to make the top 10. But let's find out where Sector falls in the top 10. Alright, so, to select Sector, come over to Cyrax on hidden while holding L and R and hit A. Oh, it's the same scene as when we right, started. Sonya with an sure absolute dump truck this? in her tight if pants. Fails, we won't be able to recover your sexy sports bra, tight we'll ponytail, and I'm Cyrax and Jax. Now where's Sector shape. coming in? I realize that my existence is unnecessary unless I can fully recover my human psyche. We must continue with the process. All right then. I'll begin the scanning process. Okay. Sonia, you hit the regeneration. Let's get started, Jax. All set, Jax. Ready on your go. Okay. Oh, you just got the feeling something bad's gonna happen here. This is like a horror movie. Just, just get Sonia, it to it. Hit the switch on just three. hit us. Ready? One. The suspense. Three. Okay. They've started. Okay, power down. Whoa, <laughs> Sector has entered the building. What? Everyone's scared. Oh, and he starts shooting missiles. Damn, 
of just blows the lab to bits. You can see the flames. Oh, Sonya's dead. Jax is dead. And damn, Cyrax is dead. Sector is a bad dude. Now, that's a heck of an ending. And you can see why it makes the top 10. Sector is a hidden character. Proves that he's a bad dude. Kills in one fell swoop. Sonya Blade. Jax. Is his name Jax Briggs? And Cyrax. And he uses, uh, so it shows six missiles in his chest, but he fires seven. Not sure if that's just a glitch or maybe he has a seventh one hiding in there somewhere. Either way, he killed everyone and destroyed the lab, set it in flame, and then just walks out. He walks in, shoots his missiles, walks out. That's like a Terminator level status. He's a badass. So, bouncing in to the number three spot is Sector's ending, right behind Sub Zero and Kung Lao slash Goro. Now, why does Sector fall behind? Obviously, pretty clear why he would fall behind Kung Lao and Goro. But why, you might ask, is Sub Zero maintaining this number two spot uh, behind so many good, or in front of so many good endings? It's because that cheap shot by Quan Chi is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Do I need to play it again? Here it is. Let me play it again. Bam! Bam. Wham! Bam. Whack! Bam. Smack! Bam. Crack! Slap, whap, and you can see that that is why it's number two. So just going over the top ten, uh, Kung Lao slash Goro, obviously, obviously the best ending this game has to offer. It gives so much insight to the lore and the realm of Mortal Kombat. It brings characters to life that you didn't know had, I don't know, a human side to. Sub Zero, I mean, I won't play it again, but we all know why Sub Zero is number two. Number three, Sector. I mean, he's a Terminator. What else do you need to say? Number four, Melina taking over the princess status of Adenia, killing her sister, Katana. I love Melina. Sonya Blade, number five. I mean, she's Sonya Blade. Her rise to greatness put her at number five. Six, Tanya. Whew. We didn't know Tanya going into Mortal Kombat 4, Mortal Kombat Gold, but this ending showed us all that she's a bad girl. Don't mess with her. She killed off Liu Kang indirectly. Seven, Katana. I mean, we all love Katana. And she had a trap door. Come on. Trap door alone gets her number seven. Baraka, number eight. Baraka's ending really doesn't put him there because he's Baraka. He's there because he gets, I don't know, killed by Quan Chi in such a mischievous, deceptive way. Nine, Liu Kang. I mean, it's, it's a rom-com. Liu Kang and Katana saying all the right things, but breaking up with each other, backing out slowly. You gotta love that. Number 10, Quan Chi, the perfectly average ending, right in the middle. Quan Chi. Now, those are my top 10. <sighs> Obviously, this is gonna be open to interpretation. I think number one, the number one spot is really the only one that you can't argue with. Goro solidifies that when he says Earth Man, do you want to continue this battle and all that. I mean, it's just an epic ending. The other thing you can't argue with is that Sector should have a very high rank. But everything else, I think, is up for debate. And let me know let me know if you agree with my top five, even. I think I think every female combatant in the game made the top 10. Melina, Sonya Blade, Tanya, Katana. That may be a reflection of my bias, but I actually think it's because they all have very badass endings. I don't know. Remark on that. What do you think? They all badass or am I just a biased simp? Either way, that is the top 10. That is my top 10 Mortal Kombat gold endings. And I had a lot of fun doing this one. These endings are what make Mortal Kombat gold and Mortal Kombat 4. Some of the best Mortal Kombat games to this day and I hope you <clears throat> excuse me I hope you enjoyed the video that's all for now I'll see you guys next time